Dr. Sella here, and running crush, the modern-day crush versus triple stack defense, this is how you would do it. Crush means the receiver or the third guy on the surface is blocking down on the C-gap defender. The rest of the offensive line blocks it just like zone dive. Same thing with the backside receiver where, where the wedge is set on the guard, the tackle wedges with the guard, the center wedges with the guard. Backside guard blocks the spine of the center. Backside tackle blocks the spine of the backside guard. Backside receiver cuts off. The A back, place that A arcs the corner. Okay, now I made a video about how the tackle pulls on crush. That's only against the place that safety in a corner. The receiver would make a tackle, tackle, tackle call. The tackle would pull uh, and block the safety. He really waits for the safety to come to him. That's the only difference against a single high safety or uh, a place that safety in, in a corner. The quarterback's going to take the snap. He's going to jump in the place at A gap. The B back is going to go off the receiver's block, turn up. And he's going to block the mic because that's the mic by definition. A triple stack defense is a two mic defense. He's going to block the mic. Really, he's going to work at a 45 and let the mic come to him. Quarterback's taking the snap, jumps in the place at A gap. And then he's going to go down the line, turn up and score off the receiver's block. If number two can tackle him, he stops his feet, flicks the ball to the A coming around. The cadence is down, ready, set, hut. On the Y and ready, he'll hammer step, big wide 90 degree step, two 135 degree steps, and turn up at 60 degrees to catch the pitch, hit the seam, and score. And that's how you run crush versus triple stack defense. Now I'm going to get this question. What if number two tackles the B back? Well, <laughs> generally that doesn't happen. Now, for those of you who lived in the 80s and you guys are outside Veer Homers, you'll say, well, that happened. Well, yeah, then in that case, the quarterback's going to go and he's going to score. Now, the other question I'm going to get is, well, if he tackles the B-back, who's got him? Right, that becomes an issue. Now, can you, at the last second, pitch off him? Yeah, because essentially what happens then is, and you will want to work this situation, if he tackles the B-back and he scrapes over the top, can you pitch off the unblocked player? Sure. How often does that happen? Not very often. If it does, certainly feel free to practice it. So he can get rid of the ball and then they run out of people. Okay. So that's how you run modern day crush versus triple stack defense. Air Forces adapted their crush now basically uh, in this way. So the B-back comes off the receiver's block, blocks the mic. Quarterback then goes down the line, turns up scores. If two takes the cue, he pitches the ball. And that's that. Coaches, you want to win more games in 2023, pick up the phone, or 2024, pick up the phone and give me a call. My number's on the thumbnail of this video, so is my website. The Triple Option Football Academy and Triple Option Football Academy camps are going to show you how. Go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash testimonial where you can see all the success stories that have come out of the camps in the academy. I've been helping coaches for 13 years. I've been helping football programs go from the sower to the attic <laughs> in a couple months and I can help you too, but you got to pick up the phone and give me a call. I'll see you in the next video. We'll talk soon.